How safe is this uh, transportation? <laughs> Nobody cares how safe it is. It's how, about it's how fun, fun it is. Fun. So on a scale to 1 to 10, how fun is this? It's a 10. It's <laughs> definitely 10. Everybody. Hi. We are in Cali, Colombia and it just occurred to me that we never really introduce ourselves in our videos. Hi, so maybe there are people just finding our channel right now and watching this video and thinking like who are those people who are walking around in Cali? So maybe this video would be a good opportunity to introduce ourselves. Absolutely, no? absolutely. You are right, Nick <laughs> and I am Linz. And for the last five years, we are in search for nature's places around the world. And not only nature's places, also just cool visits, cool things to do, cool places to visit. And the last year, we also started this YouTube channel. And now, like Nick said, we are in Cali, Colombia. Exactly, we are in Cali. And if you like this introduction, if you, if you think that we should do this more, just let us know in the comments. Or if you think that new people just have to figure it out themselves and <laughs> read, our, read our description or go to our website, let it know in the comments as well. So, we are in Cali. Cali is the largest city of Colombia in the south. It's also, it's known to be humid. It's said to be a bit a rough city. And the reason why Cali is mostly known, I think, is because it's the world capital of salsa. Salsa, baby! So what most foreigners do when they are in Cali is they take salsa classes. But the thing is, we have been here before, about 10 years ago, and we already took salsa classes. And apparently, Linz seems to be a natural, while I seem to be everything but a natural. Hopeless, hopeless! <laughs> so this time we're not going to take salsa classes anymore. And instead, yesterday we arrived and we decided to do something that's, I think, the national sport of Colombia. Colombia. ¿Qué crees tú? ¿Qué crees? Colombia 1-0, 2-0, 5-0. No, ahí está difícil que, que gane porque Colombia tiene que ganar mínimo, mínimo para ir los 2-0, 3-0, 1-0. This was one of the pre-games of the World Cup. It was Colombia versus Bolivia and Colombia won with 3-0. So it was a fun evening and watch the football game was pretty much the only thing we did yesterday. And drank some beers. And we drank just some beers. Just a few, just a few. So the, the idea is we are not really gonna stay in Cali because we are gonna explore some nature around this. But of course, we are in Cali, it's a cool city. So today, I guess we will just explore the city a little bit before we get out of it. The city center of Cali is pretty busy, I have to say. A lot of people, a lot of noise, high buildings, vendors, you name it. And just when you walk a little bit further, you come in this. This is San Antonio. It's a lot more quiet. Um, the buildings are lower. There is more street art on the streets and on the buildings. I love it. This is also where we have our hostel. We still have to explore a little bit more of San Antonio. So yeah, let's go for it. The houses in San Antonio are very colorful and they look very colonial. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be the old city center of Cali. I didn't really do any research about that. But it's nowadays it's definitely a more upscale region of, uh, of the city. This is where the rich people live, I guess. Oh my God, Nick, look and, at this car. Look at oh. it, look at it. This is this a is fancy it. car. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is a more upscale uh, place of Cali. It's also a lot of foreigners who live here. And we are on our way to a park that's called Parque de los Perros. It's uh, the dog park. It's supposed to be one of the highlights of the, of the area. I'm not sure why, again, research zero, but we are soon to find out. We got to the Parque de los Perros. It's not really the most 
spectacular park. It's just, it's kind of small park. And there's not that much to do. It does have a, a statue of a dog. I will show you, wait. So, His name is Teddy. This is, this is Teddy. This is why this park is called Parque dos Perros, but yeah, other than that, there's not so much uh, to this park, except that there's lots and lots of bars. But maybe it's popular for the nightlife or so. I have no idea. But meanwhile, it also started raining, so I guess that we will, yeah, we will have to try one of the bars, no? I just saw a bar called Chihuahua. Okay, I mean, Parque dos I mean, Perros, Chihuahua. Sí, claro, claro que sí. It's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> We are going to cut here before this turns into another Nick and Lynn's Rink Lot of Beer video. But don't worry, that is not gonna happen because tomorrow we have to wake up very early to go into the jungle. Cheers! <laughs> so we woke up at six, we left the hostel at seven, and then we were on the bus for about two hours and a half, I think. Now it's almost ten, and they dropped us off at the side of the road, and we made some new friends. Say hello. Hola. <laughs> We have to walk into town and then we have to take another type of transportation. It's, a, it's gonna be a long day trip, but the next transportation is supposed to be really, really cool. We have tickets. The thing is, there are no roads to San Cipriano. The only road is a train track. So they made this a quite inventive carts <laughs> it looks so amazing <laughs> and these these will be our transportation for the last part into the jungle it looks really cool that's yeah, a, it looks really that's a reason cool. enough to come here yeah <laughs> let's go let's go Just to get this straight, this morning we left the city with an Uber yeah. and now we arrived in a town in the jungle that has no road access yeah. and we yep. got here with a wooden cart <laughs> driven by a motorcycle that goes on train tracks. Well, which goes way too fast. <laughs> we always say that sometimes we miss going to adventure parks or amusement parks but this is just so much better. <laughs> If you ever wonder why we like to travel so much, this is why this we like to travel why. so much. <laughs> so we are in San Cipriano. Let's have a look around. 
Voilà. So what's the plan? It starts to rain. Yeah, it starts to rain. Yeah. Uh, how about, I don't know. How about we started a beer? We just said that it's not gonna be a beer video. Nick and Lynn's drinking beer video. Okay, we are not going to drink a beer then. <laughs> so we did not have a beer while we were waiting for the rain to go away. <laughs> and now it's away, so now we can explore the village. Although it doesn't really feel like a village, it's just a street next to the river with a lot of houses around it. And I like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite interesting. And also what's quite interesting is the people. They are a lot of, um, how do you say? Super friendly. Super friendly and their skin is darker than in other parts of Colombia. You have to excuse us, we are not native English and we are from Europe so we're never sure when we are offending people and we're not. It's not our purpose to offend, offend people. We're just, yeah, it's an observation. If you would be still in doubt, we arrived in the jungle. This is the number one attraction of San Cipriano and also pretty much the only attraction, I guess. But, and, and what an attraction. I mean, look <laughs> at this place. It's a jungle river and people come here to swim. You can swim in this or you can rent tubes and there were some people tubing already. It looks really fun and that is, I, I like videos, making videos a lot, but that is a bit the thing that I regret about making videos is that we are always traveling with a lot of electronics and stuff that and can be that should not be wet that should not get stolen so yeah it's always a bit tricky and yeah of course we have to wear swimming wear if you want to swim here also. so but what are we gonna do is that, is that gonna stop us is that the question is is that gonna stop you oh why me <laughs> why why it's always me <laughs> I, I have to take care of the gear oh yeah i think the last time i wore a bikini was when we were going to the natural the water 90s. no back in the 90s no that time when we went to the natural water uh, close to Sassocorbo in italy i think that was the last time that i wore a bikini where are the water shoes when you need them <laughs> Sweaty. I think I smell. Smell like jungle. <laughs> but I'm loving it. Other than the river, there are also a couple of waterfalls nearby, with the highest about 12 meters, I heard. But the thing is, you can never find them on your own, so you need to get a local guide. And we found some guides in the village, but kind of the problem is that none of them seem to be older than eight years old, I guess. And it's not that I don't trust the local kids, but that, yeah, I don't feel really feel good with uh, child labor and we try to discourage that. So I guess we're not going to the waterfalls, uh, we're just go to, going for a walk next to the river and see where we end up. And just like that, we have a new friend following us. Hey! Hey! <laughs> How insane is this place? It's amazing. Look at this, the sounds of the birds. I heard monkeys earlier. We have a dog. We have a dog. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> Where's the waterfall? Where's the waterfall? It's on the other side, it's behind you. We found the waterfall and without a guide, well, with our little guide over here. And also a little bit because of because we found some signs leading to this place. It's not the most spectacular waterfall, but it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's in nature and I think that there's another one a little bit further along the way. Uh, 
And we found the other waterfall. It's a little bit more busy here. There are like five other people, which is still not busy at all for such a beautiful waterfall. We found the waterfall. We went to the river. We got bitten by numerous small animals. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we made friends with a little bit bigger animal. So this was good day. It was an awesome day. It still is an awesome day. <laughs> but there is one thing I still want to do here. We had heard that San Cipriano is great for fish and it's absolutely it true. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we are ready to head back to Cali to go back on the roller coaster and then on the bus and then on the Uber. <laughs> and it will take a while to get there. Maybe he's gonna do a loop now. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? If you want to come here as well, we can recommend you to come today rather than tomorrow Absolutely. because this place has all the potential to become a major tourist attraction and it won't stay as quiet and as relaxed as it is today. Not I'm quiet, I will not say. It's quite busy right now, but not with a lot of tourists. Yeah. That is the thing. So if you want to have more information, we stayed at an excellent guest house in Cali who gave us a lot of information. We will put a link in the description. They can help you out. Or just send us a message on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, or on YouTube. By our blog. By our blog. And we can help you out as well. And other than that, we are going to continue our trip in Colombia. So you know what to do. Subscribe to our channel. Put on your notifications. Please give us a big fat thumbs up. And we see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.